Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. Hey, we're gonna keep moving on this little guy here. Uh, we had it running last time. And remember when I said that I think this might come back and bite us? I think it has. Let me get this plug wire out of your way. Because well, we got the head pressure from this fuel. There's no float or anything in here. And I noticed it that, well, we didn't run it out of fuel. I came back all this was wet with fuel down here so we're gonna move this fuel tank down and see if that helps anything then we're gonna dig into this governor over here and see if we can get this engine to run a little bit slower let me get this fuel tank moved all right we've got our fuel tank moved down we just took it from this head bolt and put it down here we're gonna see what happens with that i'm not sure how much of a difference it'll make but oh, we gotta try right guys All right, our fuel tank is full. I'd like to have got this video out to you guys a little bit sooner, but uh, it's been, I don't know, something happened. It got cold and winter showed up. And, well, you know, I wasn't quite prepared for it yet. So I spent, well, most of this week out here working in the shop, putting up more insulation, and uh, we added a new heater. Hopefully you guys can't hear that running back there, but... It sure makes it a whole lot more bearable for me out here. So, let's get our plug wire back on here. Now, well, what's leaking? Our fuel line's leaking. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to address that. Give me a second, we'll fix it. Okay, we've got our fuel line fixed. I just replaced it. And, uh, you can see, maybe you can see. We don't have our fuel drawn up into our carburetor yet. So, I guess we'll put our finger over this, and choke it a couple times, and well, I've seen it draw fuel up instantly. Let's put our plug wire back on, hook up our battery. We'll see what this thing starts like cold. And then we're going to dig into that governor. for a cold start hook our ignition let's pull this arm off of here uh, I almost want to pull this flywheel off so you guys can see it better but we're just gonna take this off that's why we left these screws out here so we ought to be able to just get an exacto knife and get it right behind the face of this screw because if not it's right in line with this hole it'll drop in there and we don't want to damage this spring if we can avoid it so pull that back and this arm should slide right up. Well, I said it should slide right up. Yeah. There. So here's our factory spring. I'll put it on the end of this. You guys maybe see it a little bit? So, let me look in our box of springs and see if we have one in there. I don't really want to modify the factory one, just in case we ever want to put it back to factory. Let's so we'll look in our box of assorted springs here, see what we've got. So here's our box of springs. I don't see, I don't see any of them small enough in diameter. So, that was a good idea, but didn't get anything out of that idea. 
Let's try something else. You guys ever tear one of these Bic lighters apart? Well, just like a Zippo lighter. They've got a, a spring that pushes the flint up against the flint wheel. Let's rip the spring out of this and see what size it is. All right, well, we cannibalized one Bic lighter. This is our spring that was out of there. And it is almost spot on the same diameter. Let's chop this one up instead. I'll cut one the same length as that. And, uh, well, I guess I don't need to cut it to the same length. Now, yeah, this one is a little bit softer than that one. So, let's cut one, put it in there, and we'll see how it runs. All right, so we got our replacement spring for trial purposes, I guess. I'll slip it in there. It fits just nice we it is two uh, rolls turns shorter than this one so we'll put this back in this here by turning it where it's at this is far enough forward we have clearance for this cutout let's we'll make sure that our governor button back here is pushed in Installed just in the opposite of how we took it apart. seated down in there we have our spring tension so I guess we'll fire it back up put our battery up oh hey before we start this guys I have well I think it's great exciting news and uh, it'll help you guys too uh, these engines 90% of these that we work on are available through Sterling kit well the people at Sterling kit offered uh, 10% off to you guys if you wanted to buy anything in their catalog um, use the code STEAM212 as a discount code it'll save you 10% so just in time for Christmas guys alright let's see if this will start Too slow. Guys, I think we're getting pretty dang close. It's a nice slow speed. Almost too slow though, I think. We'll keep monkeying with it. Alright guys, this was a short one. I gotta get busy building that cart now that we've got some heat out here in the shop again. Get busy on the cart. We'll keep tweaking on this. I think we're pretty close. We're gonna check our ignition timing.
We might be able to advance our timing a little bit. I like it, guys. Well, once again, you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for watching these, and uh, we'll see you in a couple days.